Good evening, welcome to the BBC News at 6. It's Britain's newest and most high-tech nuclear-powered submarine. But today, HMS Astute has been the cause of some embarrassment for the Royal Navy running aground off the Scottish coast. The submarine is so new, it's not even entered service and was undergoing sea trials when it got stuck close to the Isle of Skye. The crew is waiting for high tide this evening to free the vessel. Our defence correspondent, Jonathan Beale, has more. It is the Royal Navy's latest stealth submarine. But today, HMS Astute was stranded near the Isle of Skye for everyone to see. This one billion pound submarine is supposed to circumnavigate the globe undetected. But when she surfaced this morning, she apparently failed to spot the dangers of a sandbank nearby. A startling sight for the locals. I woke up this morning and, and looked out to inside the, the window and much to my surprise, I, I saw the nuclear submarine some 300 yards off the sky shore. The Royal Navy said no one on board was injured, that the hull remained watertight, and there was no threat to the locals or the environment from the boat's nuclear reactor. But with tugs arriving and helicopters circling, this was hard to play down. Only a month ago, the Royal Navy gave the BBC exclusive access to show off their latest weapon as she prepared for her first sea trials. Obvious pride then, but now having to hide their blushes. On the surface, manoeuvring close to land uh, is a challenging evolution for, for any uh, ship. Uh, and exactly why uh, this went wrong, we'll look at. Astute had been testing out its sonar just off the Isle of Skye before she ran aground. The Navy likens the submarine to a precision-made Swiss watch. At its heart is a nuclear reactor. Its top speed is classified, but it can deploy anywhere in the world within two weeks. On board, it carries an arsenal of spearfish torpedoes and up to 38 cruise missiles. The advanced sonar system can cover an area of 3,000 nautical miles. And so that no one else knows its location, the hull is clad in 39,000 acoustic panels. But apparently none of that advanced technology helped it avoid the coast. The sources that I've spoken to have indicated quite clearly that there was no issue with the submarine systems. Now, if that's the case, then it looks like it's a navigational error, and what will happen is there'll be a ship's investigation and potentially a board of inquiry. The Ministry of Defence insists this was not a major incident. Nevertheless, it is a major embarrassment that the Royal Navy's latest, most advanced submarine should run aground in familiar waters so close to home. Tonight, Astute is having to rely on Mother Nature, a high tide, to lift her free. They'll assess the damage done when she limps back to base. The hope is that Astute will soon be out of trouble, but that might not be true for all those on board. Jonathan Beale, BBC News. Well, in the last few minutes, HMS Astute has begun to move free as the tide has continued to rise. Let's get the latest from our Scotland correspondent, Glenn Campbell, who joins us from the Isle of Skye. So, Glenn, what's happening? Well, refloating a £1 billion boat is necessarily a delicate operation. It appears to be well underway and it appears to be going well. You'll see the white tug. Uh, it has a, a rope attached to this nuclear submarine and has been slowly pulling it off the sandbank where it grounded early this morning. It hasn't moved until the last few minutes, but now it appears to be being pulled out into deeper water, out into the safe channel uh, in this part of Scotland. There, divers will uh, inspect the boat for any damage before it is slowly towed back to its home port on the River Clyde, a journey that may take several days. But right now, it looks like the pride of the Navy, pranged here on the rugged coast of the Isle of Skye, is beginning to make its journey back to that base. OK. Glenn Campbell, thanks very much.